In this video, I am going to discuss about limitations of financial ratios. These are the main limitations of financial ratios. Limited scope. Financial ratios only consider financial data and do not provide information on other important aspects of a business such as customer satisfaction, employee engagement and innovation. This means that the financial ratios provide a limited scope of performance evaluation. Historical data. Financial ratios are based on historical data and may not reflect future performance. A company's financial performance can change rapidly and financial ratios may not be able to predict this change. Industry comparison. Financial ratios are often used to compare the financial performance of a company with other companies in the same industry. However, industries can differ significantly in terms of business models, competitive landscape and regulatory environments. This makes it difficult to draw meaningful comparison between companies in different industries. Subjectivity Financial ratios are based on accounting data and can be subject to manipulation or misrepresentation. Subjectivity Financial ratios are based on accounting data and can be subject to manipulation or misrepresentation. Different accounting practices can affect financial ratios, making it difficult to compare the financial performance of companies that use different accounting methods. Lack of context. Financial ratios provide a snapshot of a company's financial performance, but do not provide context or explanations for the results. Other factors such as economic conditions, market trends and management decisions can also impact financial performance and these factors are not reflected in the financial ratios. So what are the solutions when it comes to limitations of financial ratios? Use of non-financial measures. In addition to financial ratios, management accountants can use non-financial measures such as customer satisfaction ratings, employee engagement and innovation metrics to gain a more comprehensive view of company's performance. This can provide valuable insights into the overall health of the business and help identify areas for improvement. Use predictive analytics. Predictive analytics can help management accountants forecast future performance based on historical data and other factors such as market trends and economic conditions. This can provide a more accurate and timely view of the company's performance, helping to identify potential issues before they arise. Focus on long-term value creation. Instead of solely focusing on short-term financial metrics, management accountants can also focus on long-term value creation. This involves considering the impact of current decisions on the future health of the business including factors such as brand reputation and customer loyalty. Transparency and objectivity To address the concerns around subjectivity and manipulation of financial data, companies can adopt transparent and objective accounting practices. This includes adhering to accounting standards and providing clear explanations for any deviations from these standards. These are the non-financial performance measurements we can use to limit the limitations of financial ratios. Balance Scorecard The Balance Scorecard is a strategic management tool that translates an organization's mission and strategy into a comprehensive set of performance measures. It typically includes four perspectives – financial, customer, internal processes and learning and growth. SWOT Analysis SWOT analysis is a technique for evaluating an organization's strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. This analysis can help identify areas where a company is excelling and where improvements can be made. Benchmarking Benchmarking involves comparing a company's performance against that of its competitors or industry standards. This can provide context and help identify areas where a company is underperforming. Key Performance Indicators KPIs KPIs are specific measurable indicators used to evaluate progress 
towards organizational goals. They can be financial or non-financial and are used to track performance over time. Customer Relationship Management CRM Customer Relationship Management is a strategy for managing a company's interactions with customers and potential customers. It typically involves using technology to manage customer data, track interactions and analyze customer behavior. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.